all right, we are in the car headed out for the day. I actually have a super busy day today and it doesn't involve me going to a bunch of appointments, which typically when I do a day in the life video, I try to do the recording on days that I know that I have a lot going on so I can share with you all those appointments and how I had received each one of those clients. But in today's video, it's a little bit different because as you know, in real estate, Every single day is different and actually a lot of my days don't involve these back-to-back -back appointments. So I kind of wanted to show you that side of real estate because there's a lot of time and effort that goes into all the back end of things, all the admin things, um, marketing, content planning, and I have completely everything time blocked for today, each item. So I'm gonna take you along. First, we're going to drop off my mailers, which I recently did a video and it's on my YouTube of like a new lead gen that I'm doing right now and I'm seeing really good results so far and I shared with everybody what that is, um, which is the mailers. And then I also am giving real estate agents my template. I put it in my Etsy shop. So I'll put the link for the mailers uh, for the YouTube channel in the bio. And then I'll also put the link for the template in the bio as well, if you're interested in that. Um, I listed it for $4.99. So um, that's a template that I'm using for mailers. Headed to the post office to get those in the mail. And then I have a showing for a gentleman. It was a realtor referral. And we're just going to go look at two properties today. And then we're going to head back to the house. I'm going to show you how I time block. I'm going to show you my to-do list today and all the things that I do from home. And I think this video will be really beneficial for someone to see this side of real estate. And if you are a real estate agent and I think this will help you kind of structure your day and what you need to be focusing on. And then also if you're wanting to try to get into time blocking and get a little bit better at that, I'm going to share with you how I do things um, and how I do things within my CRM. So a lot of really good content coming ahead in this video. Um, if you haven't seen this before, it's your first time watching, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe. I have been really consistent with putting out YouTube content, especially for real estate agents. Um, so I would love for you to subscribe if you like this video please be sure to like it and if you have any questions post in the comments because on future videos i'm going to be answering those Oh my gosh. So I just want to share with you what just happened. So with my client, we were looking at two properties. I'm sorry, this road is really bumpy. So I'm making you sick. I'm sorry. Um, so we're looking at two properties. The first property I pull up and there's a car in the driveway and I'm just thinking, oh, there must be another showing going on. No big deal. The guy comes out and it's the home inspector. And I'm like, what? There's a home inspection going on in this property? And he was like, yeah. Um, and I had just spoken to the listing agent last night. It's like, yeah, it's still available. Here's the lockbox code, yada, yada. And it's like, I get if you still want to do showings after it's already under contract, but at least give me a heads up so we can decide if we want to still look at it and not have the expectation that it's still available. So I thought that was... A little sketch but I reached out to the agent I just sent a text I was like hey I'm outside the inspector is here I didn't you said that it was still available yada yada so anyways we're moving on to the next house All right, I just got back home. The one showing that we did was not a winner. It smelled and every square inch needed to be redone. Um, but we're back home now and I've got everything time blocked. So I'm gonna share with you um, my to-do list, how I organize my day. I'm gonna show you um, how I'm time blocking the tasks that I work on from home. 
and whatnot. So um, like I said, this will be really beneficial for somebody that wants to see this side of real estate and kind of needs direction on what tasks to be focusing on. And if you're wanting to get better at time blocking, this will be this will be really helpful for you. The way that I have things broken up is I use Trello. It's also my CRM. I talk about it all the time, but I also have another board in within Trello that has my weekly goals on it. In a previous video, I shared with you how my 12 week goals and my monthly goals are in here. Well, I also have my daily goals and it's broken down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and there are items on there that are copy and pasted for each day. So I'm not having to rewrite these checklists every single day. Um, you know, I wrote them once and it was super quick, easy, copy and paste and done. Um, so that throughout the day, I'm just quickly checking these off and not having to rewrite these tasks because there are goals that I have for myself that I want to make sure that I'm doing every single day. And so I'm going to share them with you. And some of them are um, small, but honestly, it helps me feel more accomplished and it keeps me motivated throughout the day. And I'm going to share with you what those items are. So get up in the morning. I do try to get up as early as I can. I really love having the mornings to just relax, get ready slowly. Um, and I have a couple of things that I like to do, and this is on my daily checklist. Um, and that is writing in my gratitude journal. And I just write three things real quickly. Um, I have two devotional books, uh, Unshakable, and then the other one is, I forget what the name is, it's about leaders. So I will share the link in my bio in case you want copies of these books. But um, so it's a devotional for each day. So it's just two pages, it's super quick, uh, one page for each book, right? And then I focus on the book that I'm reading at the time. So I talked about my goals video that I have a goal for reading one fiction and one personal development every month. And so far this month, I've read two fictions. So my next focus is a personal development which I'm getting in the mail today from Amazon. I'm excited to get started on that. But in the morning before I ever get out of bed, after I do those three things, I wanna just chill and read for a little bit, usually just 30 minutes. So that's my morning goal. And I know those are super minor, but it really helps set myself up for success. And I'm already checking these items off my list. So it makes me feel motivated and like I've already accomplished things. Now, as far as the business side of things, I always have the same staples for Monday through Friday, things that I have to do every single day, just like those personal items that are automatically put in for each day in my Trello board. And a couple of what some of those items are is following up with my current transactions, going through my emails, following up with Amy, who is my TC, um, also following up with my leads that I'm nurturing in my Trello. So I'm going through my CRM every single morning and going through and seeing who do I need to touch today? What do I need to update, follow up on? So that's something that I do every single day. And I have these goals to do a certain amount of handwritten notes. I'm usually working on my weekly email Monday through Wednesday because it goes out on Wednesdays. Also working on mailers, uh, social media content, videos, whatever that may look like for that day they're already plugged in here. And then I always have every single day is so different, right? So I either have an appointment, showings, a listing consult, buyer consult, errands to run, or a networking thing, meeting up with someone for coffee, or, and I'm plugging that into my Trello. And then also other random tasks that I have for that particular day, I'm plugging into Trello. So let me explain to you how I organize all of this. So I plug all these things into my Trello and then then I organize. So I put all my morning items up top and then I break down the work items. And like right away on this particular day, I wanted to record the video in the car before I left for the showings, which you already saw. And then I did my showings for Josh. And then I break down each item that I have and I time block those items next to it. So as I'm going through these tasks, I'm checking off these items. It's so easy. I'm just plugging in what, what time. Like this literally took seconds. It's not as extreme or time consuming as you think um, and it really helps keep myself on track so you'll see like a couple of items that I have on here um, for example stitch fix check-in print Amazon code and my farm bureau is for my insurance so three items and I allotted 30 minutes for this and any I usually like plug some of these things like this throughout my schedule that 
I don't think it's really gonna take me 30 minutes, but as the day progresses, things are gonna come up and I'll, I remember like, oh, okay, I plugged in these kind of miscellaneous items. If something comes up, I'll plug it in during, in this time slot because I know I'm gonna have more time then. And so this is how I set it up. I plug these items in here. I put my goals for the time blocking and it really helps keep myself on schedule, on track, not distracted. You know, I'm not um, trying to veer away from this because this is my goal for the day and this is what I need to do um, and I love more than anything at the end of the day to be like I've checked off all these items on my list and I try to go through them quickly like I don't need to ponder on a lot of these items for a long time it's like check them off move on to the next thing and I love at the end of the day having it done and ending early and there's always something else to be done or that I want to do and I love taking that time for myself and even if it's just 15 minutes finishing early um, it's just nice to be able to like let me just chill relax whatever it is that that I want to do so I hope that helps explain to you about how I structure my day all right so I'm going to mark off these items that I've already done record video in the car I did the showings for Josh I am currently recording the video explaining today's tasks um, and now I'm going to move on to these following items and then have lunch. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. I feel like I'm about to do a cooking show, but I'm just gonna make something to eat. I was gonna make salmon, but I just decided to make a quick smoothie. So I've been checking off all the things on my to-do list. I'm feeling really good and super productive today. All right, after I make this smoothie, I'm gonna walk only around, get some steps in, take a little mental break. Um, and then I've got a call with another real estate agent, Erica. She is in Michigan. And we just kind of been chit-chatting, talking about some ideas about a potential collaboration. So I'm excited to get on a call with her. We're gonna do a Zoom call and kind of talk about that in more detail. So that call is here soon at two o'clock and then I'm going to knock off everything off, everything else on my to-do list. And I want to, get the ball rolling on getting a workout done. It's gonna be 30 minutes. I was going to do a Peloton workout, which I usually do on the bike, but I'm gonna do weights. Um, with the Peloton, there's a ton of apps. So, or there's a ton of apps. There's a ton of workouts within the app. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh, this almond butter is really hard to get out. So I'm gonna knock out that workout. I'm gonna need to edit this video for you to get it out. If you're liking this video so far, please let me know in the comments. Drop a like. I love just like listening to these day in the life videos, especially just like having them on while I'm working. Um, it kind of like just keeps me motivated, but I usually have something on when I'm working, like a YouTube channel. Um, I have a couple favorites for like podcasts. So, all right, let's get this smoothie blended. refreshing we are just gathering our thoughts and ideas about something that we're going to be doing for real estate agents and I'll be able to share with you um, about it all the details within the next couple of weeks I'm so fired up because I got everything on my to-do list that I needed to get done today work-wise um, and I'm, I'm exhausted like I'm ready to throw in the towel <laughs> I'm tired I want to just chill but I still have a couple more goals that I want to get done for today. I'm going to head out and walk Goldie. Hopefully, hopefully it gives me some energy <laughs> and I got to get a 30 minute workout in and start making dinner because I guess dinner has to take or it takes two hours to bake the recipe that I'm going to make. I'll share it with you. Um, and then what else do I need to do tonight? That's it. 
and then I just want to chill and then it's Bachelor in Paradise. Are you watching that? Because this season, like literally I know that Chris Harrison would say every year that's the most dramatic season ever, but this year it really is. Okay, head it out now. Wish me luck. Let's get this done. Love, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.